What is going on you guys? It is your boy Virgil here and welcome back to another episode here on Dragon Ball Legends. Today I'm going to be bringing to you guys my top 10 units in Dragon Ball Legends in the very current moment. Uh, it has been like a day and some change, maybe even two days since the LF Final Form Cooler has dropped. Uh, and this is probably the biggest meta shift that we've seen in a decent amount of time since, I guess, you know, anniversary, since Ultra Vegito, since that whole meta kind of took over with Blue Blue Yellow, with Fusions, with MUI Fusions, uh, with this with this whole Ultra meta that we just had, uh, we, which we are still having currently. It's not like they're going anywhere. Uh, still some top tier units overall, but I'm going to be giving you guys my ratings, my list of the top 10 best units of the game. Uh, this is not an individual list. Now, I posted already the list over on Twitter and over on my community tab page in advance. So some of you guys have already seen this list and uh, some of you have may have not. So um, you guys probably have some um, opinions and want to know why I have made certain placements. And I'm going to be explaining everything here in this video. So before we jump in, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. I do stream here every single day and I do grind top 100 PvP every single day here on the channel. So um you know, we got 10 spots here. Uh, there's only one unit that can be number one. And this is a uh, it's a tough one because, you know, the top five units, in my opinion, even the top like six, seven units are all very, very good. And they're like leagues above the rest of the units in the game. So um, you, just depending on what you value, depending on um, the meta overall, I do think that with this cooler drop, movies in general just got a huge, massive buff. I think Ultras in general, both Ultra Gogeta and Ultra Super Vegeta just got a massive uh, counter because Cooler does more damage to Super Saiyans. Uh, he does go type neutral when faced against a Super Saiyan. So even Ultra Gogeta being type advantage over him, he's going to be type neutral against Ultra Gogeta when faced with him for at least 10 timer counts. And this does not disappear um, when he switches or anything. Say like um, VB shows up after Ultra Gogeta on a yellow, yellow, blue setup. He's still going to be type neutral if he's faced with the Gogeta at some point and the neutrality, you know, is going to last for 10, 10 counts regardless of Ultra Gogeta being on the field. I think the lock-in is incredibly stupid. Um, you know, by the way, we're talking about Cooler because I think Bro is number one in the game right now. Um, just meta-wise, he shuts down the best. If, if we had to look at my previous list, so this is, um, I'm not going to spoil my list right now. That's not what I want to do. But, um... This is it right here. This is my previous list. So if you can see here, the both Ultras three weeks ago, in my opinion, were the best in the game. So Ultra Vegito, Ultra uh, Gogeta, MUI, they're all still in a similar placement. You know, don't get me wrong. So um, don't want anyone like attacking me over opinions on a list. Uh, I do think they're all fantastic. I just do think metal wise right now with this cooler, it's like Ultra Super Vegito is just completely shut down with this guy on the field, right? Cooler inherently does more damage to Super Saiyans. The lock-in is brutal. So, um, you know, I I think the lock-in has way more value than people realize. Uh, so you're doing a strike into anything. He's just going to lock in for a set amount of timer counts, whether you want to pop main into your ultimate and potentially one shot, or uh, you want to rising rush after you pop your main, he gets nullified endurance. So Ultra Super Vegito is just one of those things that this guy indirectly just counters him so severely that I do not think uh, Ultra Super Vegito is, is a top five in the game right now. I do individually think Ultra Super Vegito easily clears, right? Um, and that's what I want people to understand when hearing this take is I do think Ultra Super Vegito is still fantastic. You know, nothing. He's not really going anywhere. He does have type neutrality himself, his green card, um, his ultimate after a dead ally. But this guy right now, if you're if you're running, say like blue blue yellow solely, and you have that as like you know, there's two super saiyans on that team. This guy's going type neutral against everybody because you're you know you're gonna constantly be switching. Um, I'm gonna play this clip on the screen while I'm saying this so you guys can see a, a little bit of what I'm talking about. Uh, he's just doing a dummy amount of damage, and it, it's just a high a, a lot of high risk. You know, literally two, three cards or a rush. And this guy just shuts down the best unit in the game currently. So we are going to slap him at number one. Uh, and despite all the other utility he does have, he has just you know, stupid damage. He has this strike cover. He has blast armor. Blast armor is just you know, endless amounts of value. Every unit with blast armor, you just have a ton of control of the battlefield. 
And uh, with Mo um, with teams specifically, I do think that this has pushed movies to its peak. Um, if not almost peak, because we are going to receive more movies buffs by the end of the year. But I do think movies is the best team in the game right now. So this cooler paired alongside either Ultra Gogeta, Tapion, Revival Gohan, and even Dragon Fist. There's a bunch of variants that you can do. Either Revival Gohan, Cooler, um, Dragon Fist. You could do Cooler, Tapion, Dragon Fist. You could do Cooler, Gogeta, Revival Gohan numerous movie setups that you guys can work around and obviously there's a leader slot uh believe it or not i don't have like the best movies team right now so i'm not even using bro on a movies team he's given a lot of value to powerful opponents with cell and androids on a red red purple setup he's giving value to his leader slot exists so i have them actually um pull up my phone here I have him on a red, red, uh, red, red, green setup on future. So, you know, droids obviously is powerful opponent as well, but this is a future setup theoretically. Um, and then, uh, cooler is getting a Zenkai buff here. It's not like the best team in the world, but it does, you know, this team does fine. Um, but yeah, cooler is, I don't know why I did that. Cooler is just a monster and I'm going to place him at number one right now. It isn't like, you know, set in stone or anything. It has been two days. So this is a early take and i am very confident with this take because uh from the matches i've played currently ranking the top 50 this guy just shuts down any ultra super vegeto that that uh super vegeto in the clip is a red three literally two three cards the dude's depleted so um he's definitely dropped a lot in meta value not individual value we're gonna place number two um gogeta happens to be his best not only his best uh partner right it's also his best counter. Gogeta does more damage to Sagas from the movies and or powerful opponents. And he's blue. Uh, the thing is, whenever he's faced with Gogeta, he just goes type neutral. So, obviously, that neutrality does have to run out. But when it does, you know, Ultra Gogeta is just him. He just, he does everything. You know, I don't need to break down Ultra Gogeta. He's been a while uh, here for a while. And uh, it's been over half a year. This guy's still top in the game. Uh, he has many teams. Fusion Warriors, he has Super Saiyans, he has movies. A lot of these teams kind of shut down right now with Cooler existing, being anti Super Saiyans, uh, going type neutral. And this is against any Super Saiyan, so it's not just Ultra Gogeta, Vegito, it's Trunks, it's Revival Gohan, it's any. So there's going to be uh, endless amounts of Super Saiyans in this game, so he's just going to have a, a similar effect to where. Uh, you know, Super Saiyan Bardock kind of crit buffs Super Saiyans. This guy's just anti Super Saiyans, and not only that, he goes type neutral against them. So, being advantage over this cooler isn't going to really do much if you have priority. This guy's just an amazing partner for him. Um, everything he does, he has a uh, blast armor, another blast armor units. Uh, the team movies, especially like I've seen the synergy between uh, Cooler, Gogeta, and even Revival Gohan on a red, blue, purple setup. Just everyone watching each other color wise. Our revival go on providing the rising rush control it's a very nutty setup and even there's there's many other setups obviously i don't need to break down gogeta too much i think he's fantastic i think he's worthy of at the moment being number two um i think i did have him number two previously as well yeah i had him number two previously um uh, number three on my list you know this is where it kind of gets tricky because i do think that the top five six seven units are all very close you know in a some regard in a some respect what did i put i think i put droids droids is just droids man uh you know i've had my opinions change have them decrease in value increase in value they were number one at some point they're just existing ridiculously powerful don't need to break them down too much too if they have green cards they're gonna just continue endless combos infinite buffs if you drop combo they're just gonna get even more buffs there's they have a lot of teams a lot of teams you can pair them alongside cooler powerful opponents is very powerful right now what they're really missing is a uh pure equipment for the team and i think they're gonna really be set uh but as ever as of right now no peer equip for the team i've been using a movies peer for uh cooler and then i still rock future alongside them just future peers for the androids and my trunks but uh yeah androids are ridiculous the tag switch the uh, cover null, the take away of vanish, very powerful abilities, the nullify rising rush for existing. Said they're just droids are droids, they're broken. I think they're number three in the game right now with Cooler just having 
them conti continue to have value. Um, Future is still a top team in the game. Um, thinking of other teams that they would fit on Android. Like, that's pretty much it. It's just Future or even um, Future powerful opponent. But like I said, leader slot exists. So you slap droids on any team, they're going to wreck. They're just going to cook. Doesn't matter what team they are. You know, put them on God Key, Red, Red, Purple, still a fantastic team. Endless green cards. These guys are just going to be eating. I've seen teams where uh, you put like that free to play cell and Whis, and it's literally just a dead team besides the androids, and they're just like mega buffed. So, you know, uh, I've lost that team before. And not an incredibly viable team because if you lose droids, you just, you're just done. But these guys, the fact that, you know, <laughs> without boost they're just they're they're up here there's not much explaining to you even though i did a bit of explaining in case you were curious uh number four on my list is my favorite unit in the game still because i don't switch up bro mui is my boy he's the goat he's very annoying to fight i'm not gonna lie right now you know i've, I've kind of stopped using him for the moment because i was using him uh on release and on fusions when the ultra vegeto came out you know mui fusions was kind of that team i was maining a couple weeks ago um, I do think the synergy between those three is what made them top three on my previous list. MUI, Gogeta, Super Vegeta was just an insane synergy. And I think it's still an insane synergy. So, uh, still one of, if not top three team in the game, in my opinion, still. It's just right now with that team taking a toll, taking a hit with two out of the three members being incredibly impacted by this cooler. Um... I think he's just taking a fat hit in the meta. And you know, one thing I didn't say about the cooler is that he's squishy. I think that's the one downside to him is that his defenses aren't all the greatest. But I don't think it's... Um, I didn't even think it was much worth even mentioning. That's why I didn't even mention it. Uh, it is very... You know, obviously defenses are important. But if you have priority with this guy, he's healing. You know, I didn't even say he heals. He heals on every freaking card, every strike, I believe. Um... But yeah, he's just doing stupid damage. If you, if you have priority with him, you're just eating. Plus, he locks in. All that shit. Uh, MUI, he's still annoying. He has the auto win on clashes. Auto win on clashes is broken. Clashes are very, very uh, frequent. So if you, you know, you're using him, you obviously want to bait into a clash to gain priority. And that's kind of the way you want to play him. Aggressive. Uh, Mid-range strikes. You know, mid-range strikes not not actually the best all the time. Or most of the time but you know if you know how to play with them you know when your opponent's gonna go for a mid-range bait clashes out uh the auto counter auto damage free damage uh you know nuke ults uh he's another red in the meta this is another reason why i think usv is not even in the top four anymore not i'm not gonna even put him number five uh a lot of reds red 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 dominated meta and his teams just thinking, you know, obviously you want a leader slot him. He doesn't really have... God Key isn't the best team right now. And I'm thinking his best teams, he has probably Fusions, Paralongs, that Ultra Gogeta, and or uh, Ultra Vegeta. Also, you can pair him alongside Tapion and Dragon Fist. I, I've seen this team. And, uh, you know, I don't use it personally, but uh, I think it's a fantastic team. Just a great unit to continue to stall, continue to, uh, you know, gain priority Dragon Balls. And just, uh, you know, if you can outplay with MUI, he's deserving of high tiers so i just uh it's hard to put him any higher than this because of how much value these guys have like just overall and how much more reliable they are but i think if you're able to play a certain way with mui and even if you're not this guy is just up here he's disgusting he's the guy if you guys know you know in top ranks i, I think dragon fist tapion and uh, mui is actually a more common setup now with how uh how uh, Super Saiyan's fusions have taken the hit. So you're going to see a lot of Dragon Fist, Tapion, MUI running around. My number five on the list is probably going to be the most controversial. Um, you know, what did I put my top five last time? I put Dragon Fist over Trunks. So this is where it gets a little spicy, you guys. I'm going to put my Trunks as a top five. For me, this is a personal preference. If you guys seen that clip a little while ago, I just like using the trunks. And I think he is worthy of this, you know, placement. Even if you play some 6-7, I think that's fine. I think this is just my personal take. This is my one on the list that I'm just going to have to put there. If you want to disagree, that it's fine. But I just do think with, um, he's a great partner for androids. Um, he does more damage to powerful opponent. Given it is when uh, a unit tag switches, I run droids with my cooler so it's not going to be uncommon to see androids with cooler he's just going to get more damage inflicted against po in general um 
just a lot of utility. He has two ultimates. He gets Restore Vanish on both ultimates, and I think that leaves a gap for a lot of fantastic plays and game-changing plays when you get back your Vanish after the ultimate. So uh, I do think a lot of people are sleeping on this Trunks, and they don't rate him as highly as Blast Armor. Fits on the best, one of the best teams. Future is one of the best teams in the game. It has been for the longest time. You haven't realized, continuously getting buffed. Future is one of the best teams in the game. Uh, you know, he does more damage to Frieza Force. I was thinking LOE earlier today, but it is Frieza Force. So he doesn't indirectly do more damage to Cooler, but he does more damage to Frieza Force, which you're probably going to be seeing a lot of with Cooler. Um, you know, even though Cooler is a strike-oriented unit, he does fantastic... Um, He's going to be doing a lot more damage to Frieza specifically, and I wouldn't doubt LOE mains are summoning for this cooler, and you're going to see a lot of LOE teams running around. So um, LOE is not a sleeper team. They are very squishy, but they do a lot of damage. So Trunks is doing more damage to some of the best teams. Uh, PO, Frieza Force, um, a lot of great utility. I'm just going to put them up here. If you want to interchange him and Dragon Fist or even uh, Ultra Vegeta, I'm going to put them on these other spots. If you're curious. Uh, but yeah, I wouldn't be opposed to... Where is he? Where is he? My goodness, it's hard to find the units. If you want to do this, or even this, there's nothing wrong with that. I think that it is just a preference. I think if you have a, there's a fair argument to put this guy actually a lot higher than this. If you really value this guy in your movie setup, um, then, you know, so be it. He has cover null. Or, you know, we're going to move on. I'm going to put Trunks here. I'm going to put Dragon Fist. To be fair, I'm going to put Dragon Fist here. Um, this is just where I'm, I'm placing him, but since I'm talking about Dragon Fist now, uh, is, he has that cover null. His cover null is probably one of his, uh, greatest things, because he's just farming cards. He's farming that first rush immediately. Um, he has cover null the first two times he does enter. Uh, he pairs alongside this cooler very, very well, so him, cooler, either Tapion, USG, or even Revival Gohan is a great team. Um, I've seen a lot of arguments why he should be higher because of the value of movies right now. And uh, you guys seen it on my previous list. I do think, uh, you know, just there's an argument to be made for them. It's just a personal preference with the trunks right now, which is why I have him higher. And I do think, you know, even outside of that personal preference, he has a lot to back him. This movie's, uh, you know, movies being so valued. It depends really what you value. If you value this guy on your team, I'm probably going to make a movie set up without Dragon Fist. And I think it's going to perform really good, if not better than with Dragon Fist. But it is a preference. I'm going to put him here. He's really just, uh, in my eyes, an ultimate machine. Uh, you know, obviously he has the cover null, farms cards. He does so much shit, but um, after that is done, it, de it depletes if you uh, have a misplay and, you know, you have to swap him in. You don't get really to take advantage of that cover nullification. And uh, he's very squishy. And, uh, yeah. I, I mean, he, he does a lot of other stuff. I don't use him too often, but uh, still a fantastic unit. Like I said, all these are interchangeable. Seven to top one. He's still one of the best units in the game. So I don't think of him being like that low. My goodness. It's just a couple, like two, three spots lower than this. Uh, personal preference. I think his ultimate, once he fills up his gaze, he's just a monster. Um, there's a lot of things that kind of just, in my opinion, I just don't like having to t take that long to fill up his gauge and for him to actually do something, lock in, uh, explode with that ultimate. He could be dead at that point already with mis misplays. It doesn't leave much space open for mistake when using this guy, in my personal opinion. I'm going to put Ultra Super Vegito at 6. Um, you know, this is going to get a lot of flack. Ultra Super Vegito under Trunks, MUI. I don't think so individually. Individually, I could still see him up here. You know, either like next to Gogeta, next to Android. I would say individually, he's definitely up there. But with how the meta is right now, and you're going to see this guy more than not, like every other game probably, especially in the top ranks, where I'm coming from with this list and the overall opinion is in high ranks, either God rank or top 100, top 1000. Uh, Ultra Super Vegito is taking so much flack. You guys seen it in that clip. I did drop one clip. I should have dropped one clip in this video. He's just uh, so much damage against him. Uh, but... You know, top six is not the biggest deal in the world. I think individually, this guy's fantastic. He does have type neutrality of his own. His ultimate goes type neutral when he's a dead ally. He has card draw speed. He has just infinite combos. Um, he heals. He has so much to him. He's a great team. He has perfect partners. It's just Super Saiyan. This is taking flack. I know Trunks is also a Super Saiyan, but uh, I just do see more value with the teams he is. Uh, he's on. Or 
teams he's on right now. I think this guy just being yellow and uh, yeah, you could uh, you could honestly make the same argument. You know, uh, he's yellow. He just gets decimated by a red anti Super Saiyan unit. So one strike arts into a lock in or an ultimate rising rush. This guy's dead. Uh, but yeah, that's the reasoning he's fallen from number one to six in my personal preference. Not the biggest drop. I'm just giving you guys where I think meta-wise he is valued right now. This is not like a big deal. If you want to run him on a team and you want to outplay, he's fine. Just be careful against facing coolers because it's, it's pretty much a death sentence. You get caught in one strike arts by the cooler. All it is, all it takes is one to lock you in and you can pop your main or your ultimate. He's dead. Dragon Fist, I kind of went over, uh, you know, interchangeable. Please do not butcher me for this take right here. I do think Dragon Fist is great, but uh, he's just not my personal favorite. You know what I mean? He just, there's a lot of areas he does lack. Sometimes I feel like he does lackluster, just overall damage. He takes a long time to ramp up. Obviously, you want to fill up his gauge. Um, but, uh, you know, there's a lot of times he does shine and he does go crazy. So just putting in five or seven is not like the biggest deal in the world. And I do think... Uh, he could be either or, so um, I'm just going to place him here for right now. I do think the movie setup without him is better, and this is just an early take. There's obviously setups. I've seen Dragon Fist, Tapion, and Cooler, a fantastic team. Uh, don't get me wrong. Movies is on top, so this is a personal preference take. I'm going to put number eight, Vegito Blue. Where did I have eight last time? I had seven Vegito Blue, eight Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. I think this Vegeta is just out of the top 10 right now. Uh, another personal thing. I think he's fantastic still, but out of the top 10. This is a blue that isn't a Super Saiyan unit. Probably the best blue in the game that's not a Super Saiyan. Um, I think the only other blue that I could really think of that is one of the better blues in the game, not a Super Saiyan, is this guy. Even Trunks, one of the best blues, is a Super Saiyan. So, cooler running around. You need a blue that isn't going to... Uh, trigger his type neutrality um you know obviously everything he does have one of uh you know the best hitting or the hardest hitting ultimates in the game last arm i'm not gonna go through everything he does but you know very good utility very fantastic unit fits on a lot of tags he has a he's a diverse tagging future god key saiyans uh future god key saiyans and fusions i mean fusions pair alongside these guys fantastic partners uh, the thing that really does give him a little bit more value, I think, than previously, even though he's a step farther now because you obviously we slapped on Cooler, is keeping him up here is that he isn't a Super Saiyan, so he's not taking effect with the type neutrality. Obviously, if he's on the team with Super Saiyans, he could still be type neutral against this VB, which is why Cooler is so freaking ridiculous. But, you know, you want to be careful and maybe start off with this guy if, if facing against Cooler, so you start out type advantage. Um... But yeah, I'm going to put him, place him number eight. Number nine on my list, I'm going to add, I believe, Tapion, bro. My boy Tapion, 1% unit, is actually up here because the amount of support that this guy has is just stupid. Obviously, this one, a lot of these are either interchangeable or arguable, but this is just, yeah. Tapion just is a perfect partner for movies. He's a glue with tape, uh, Cooler, a glue with Gogeta, glue with Dragon Fist. He just makes these guys hit way harder. Um, he has he's a good rising rush fodder. You know, obviously, when someone pops a rush, he's uh, reducing the sub count, so you can just swap him in and take the rush. He has uh, every time he dies, he does damage to the entire team. He has cover null, a lot of things to continue priority and farm dragon balls, and just overall fantastic support. One of I think the best support unit in the game, other than like Weiss, or uh, there's probably one that I'm forgetting as well, but him Weiss, great support. I think he is worthy of a top ten. And then the 10th spot, it's a little bit tricky on my end because there's a couple that I would... Um, we're going to try to put one unit up here. I think I want to put Revival Gohan at the top. I think I want to put Revival Gohan at the top just because how powerful, um, how Movies is the best team in the game right now. So they have an entire color wheel to go off of, of great units. Revival Gohan, Tapion, Dragon Fist, Gogeta, and Cooler is a fantastic team. If you want to focus on a top three with Zenkai Benches... This guy is great for that team right now. I do think uh, Revival Gohan is just, I have a mixed opinion on him because he is, you know, a year old at this point. Uh, power creep is a lot more intense. 
but uh the way what he does for movies is great he also has rising rush uh protection with his revival the thing is it, it just gets cut down very fast so i have a little bit of a mixed opinion i guess it is preference if you want to have revival go on up here another great option i'm going to put cell i i personally think cell is better than revive go uh revival go on uh, this guy's just going to be carried by his team, really. I think with his team, he's great. But yeah, this guy does a lot of damage to purple, uh, to greens. He is a purple unit, given there are two top tier greens. Trunks, Dragonfish. Trunks being a hybrid, he does more damage to hybrids. Um, just overall future, he's a great partner with droids and cooler. Powerful opponent teams, fantastic. Uh, with his platinum equip, this guy is great. I, I see him getting underrated all the time, and I'm not understanding. Not sure how. I think it was just because uh, USV was running rampant, so purples just didn't exist. Uh, but now with this guy around, USV lower, you're going to see a, start to see a lot more purples. This guy, Revival Gohan, other purples, etc. I think Maja Vegeta is very deserving of you know an honorable top 10 spot because of him being one of the top blues in the game that doesn't uh, take effect with the typing neutrality right he isn't a super saiyan he goes super saiyan 2 with the transformation and uh he is type advantage against a uh, red dominant meta he's type advantage against red cooler right so throw him on saiyans throw him on any team really right if you want to throw him with uh dragon fist tapion you want to throw him with mui dragon fist any saiyan setup leader slot position whatever this guy is going to be a very nice asset now gaining a lot of value not being a super saiyan I think like the last honorable mention i might put is this golden frieza uh golden frieza is just disgusting like individually he just does so much blast damage his healing is nuts um him paired alongside cooler i think eloise still gonna get uh have a lot of value with the cooler right either revival frieza first one frieza this golden frieza and cooler make fantastic fantastic team honestly uh this is probably one of the best if not the best other than the cooler on eloise in my personal opinion uh, he does type neutral on the blue, uh, just the, the cover null on main, the full hand on main, the endless combos. The only thing about him is that he's squishy, and I think that's his downside. But besides that, for a 1% spark unit, very, very, very good. Uh, I think this guy too. You can honestly slap this guy here. I don't want to. I'm only going to put four up here, but you could definitely argue that he's up here. It's not really like a wrong answer, just a preference, opinionated Thing, but this is going to wrap up my list i think this is what i had uh so cell maja vegeta yeah angel golden and gohan i mean it doesn't really these are all interchangeable really but yeah this is my top 10 boys so uh let me know what you guys think in the comments i did give my reasonings to why you know some units are moved back why cooler is at the top and just why this is like a meta opinionated team especially in the top ranks you're gonna see this guy every game every other game um this guy isn't individually better than this guy or this guy you know what i mean like this guy isn't worse than you know what i mean uh just take it how it is uh take it how you see it but uh yeah this is my top 10 uh let me know what y'all think in the comments drop a like subscribe if you're new and i'll catch you guys in the next one stay frosty boys and i'm out